Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. In the last episode we went to the mysterious woods or whatever it was called and we got a key. We got a heart piece from the fishing minigame. Oh. Seashell. You found a secret seashell. But who... But what do you do with it? I'm not rightfully sure. Uh, I do want to do the crane game before we go because might as well do it. There's a piece of heart. There's a Yoshi doll. Oh, there is some of that secret sauce that we got, so might go for that. Trendy game. One place, 10 rupees. Sure. The buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons and play. Good luck. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, move forward, move right. Oh, you only get you only get one use. Grab a de Yoshi. Is this gonna be like, oh, you weren't exactly in the middle, so get donked. Oh, oh, he's wick, what? Okay, yes, this is where all my money's going. Also nice. Man, I don't know if I can get that Yoshi anymore. Oh, darn it, it's not in the middle. So this is like, this is crane game, physic crane game, physics crane game. It's gonna pop out, it's gonna pop out, it's gonna pop, no, we got it, okay. Sweet, well that's one thing. I don't know if I can get that Yoshi all the way down there. Yes. Cause it'd literally just be like, womp. That's, uh, that's about as perfect as it's gonna get. I can't, I don't wanna. Okay, if I just barely tap it, it doesn't move. Uh-oh. Nothing. Yeah, that Yoshi's gone. It's a goner. Hate to say it. Sometimes we gotta leave our friends. No. Just give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you to play. Can I grab grabby? I can. Yoinkus. Is that almost, that's almost a uh, full heart, right? Or is that three? That's three, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to leave and come back in because we all know that's the secret formula here to success. Oh, it's a secret. Oh, okay. Seashell. Trying to gain one play, 10 rupees. Sure. I'm going to spend the rest of my money here because I don't know what the rupee limit is and I'm not trying to hit it. Might as well. Oh, that should be better. Oh, that's like, that's like nearly perfect. Come on. Beautiful. They all closed, like, perfectly. What? I'm getting Mario Party 2 flashbacks. And not good ones. Yes. Please, grab that Yoshi. Grab that Yosh. Grab that Yosh. He's so big. <gasps> oh, I got him. No, I didn't. This is illegal. I like how I gave it time. It's like, is, is it gonna go in? No, no, come on. Like really, I just have to nudge it to the left a little and then it'll go down, right? Look at that, beautiful. We all knew, we've been nuked. I have enough for that seashell. I'm gonna get that seashell. Listen to me. Nice round object, easy for grabbing. Again, I, I feel like we're starting out the series with the most exciting stuff. What? Okay, well, we're done. We're out of money. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the purple rupee. Of course, that would have mean, meant you had to watch more of this, so. Looks like you got lucky. Give me that Yosh. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. Uh, that must have been different dialogue in the original, huh? Because, let's see. Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that for forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Whomst is your mom? Mom's going to be so jealous. Huh? Oh, she's probably back at our house. The one up north with the two doors. I don't think I've gone into that one yet, actually. Which 
have been why I didn't uh, recognize it. Can I talk to Bird? Doesn't budge an inch. Darn. No secret hideout there. Pot? Maybe I should have explored a little bit more. Here's where Yoshi go. I feel like I'm starting a fetch quest. Baby. Baby. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yes. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. A bow. Uh, a ribbon, rather. Maybe you can trade a ribbon for something else. Perhaps. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me, you hear? Are you Mamal? You don't know, you're Mamasha. Of course. I love that beautiful, beautiful fish in the back. Oh, stand for something. It says Pokey. What does that mean? Why Pokey? Why Piranha Plant? Is this a stand for something? It says Boo. Wait, if, where am I? Hold on. What? I must get those through some, like, side quest later, and I can just decorate the world. I didn't realize it was going to go that heavy on the references. Weird. I thought it was just, like, literally a chain chomp. And that was it. I don't know. I think Wart's in this, too. I remember seeing that this was, like, the first game that Wart's appeared in in, like, 30 years or something. Well, it seems that after you save, you'll start at the last place you saved. Unless it's a dungeon, where you start at the entrance. I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Glad you all have this very, very good information for me. Don't know why I'm going this way anymore, because what I, I need to go south, pretty sure. You said it's Ukuku Prairie. Isn't that the... Like, that's Monkey. That's Monkey. Animal Village. Farther east, okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense for it to be Monkey. Okay, I was going to say, I want to get at least 10 rupees before I go in here, because I have a feeling. Hello. Welcome. See something you like? Just bring it in here. Uh, three hearts. Sh shovel. Nothing. Okay. Well, I need fat stacks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skedaddle and go collect these fat stacks. I'm not, I'm not actually gonna grind. I'm just, I just be cutting. Let's actually try to go for that dungeon, cause I feel like we're going to be able to get some good good stuff um so that that ribbon's part of the side quest i like it takes up a slot your word for cheering up the quadruplets mother no no hint no nothing i oh. i'm definitely gonna get that bash move because there was that there was the book on top of the bookshelf there's apples and trees like what it, what else is there that's basically it it's basically telling you. So if I keep going this way, I'm sure I'll... Okay. I'm an epic gamer. Don't worry about it. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Little minish Puyo Puyo things. You know what it looks like? It looks like that enemy from Link to the Past. And that's probably what it is, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Dungan one. Uh, let, let's go. No reason to waste. I don't think there's really much else we can do. Level one. Tell okay, they call it levels. Do I have a map? I do have a map. Okay. I guess I might as well put this onto X. I really don't have anything else yet. Uh, I gotta remember I can use my powder to light torches. Buggy beetle. Hold on, do I need to, like, knock them off? Am I sumoing here? Jesus. Bonk. Please. Hold on. And that's how you do it. That's a key. Context clues. Like how that's the first required enemy to knock out, is just knocking him into a hole. Hello! Wow, that was easy. Okay, well... All right. Jeez. The fire was hostile too. Compass. Now you can see where the chests of nightmare are hidden. Nightmare. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key's nearby. Sweet. Oh wow. Really does show me the whole whole kit and caboodle, huh? Neat. I wonder if this has like a uh, those 
like, it was a thing in Link to the Past where if you hit your sword against a wall, you could hear if whether a bomb was a wall was bombable or not. Um, same thing with Ocarina of Time, but it was less obvious. So I wonder if that's a thing here. Uh, I'm assuming that's the sound for there being a a diddly doodle here. Get bonked. Epic win. Button. Okay. The puzzles are real intense, gotta say. Key. Well, now I have two keys. Keys, if you will. Uh, there's a there's a chest right in this room. I'm gonna go this way first, just in case I need three keys for the other path. Oh, okay. You got a piece of power. Assuming it does double damage, but so far everything's... Well, no, that's not true. I was gonna say everything died in one hit. Also, I'm surprised they're putting these, like, Stalfos enemies so early on. Because those tend to be, like, very hard to hit. This Link to the past. I keep wanting to say Link Between Worlds. Got a map. Okay. Basic stuff here. Uh, looks like there's a third item to obtain. I wonder if that's going to be like the dungeon item. Pig nose. Oh, I get it. it. It's shaped like a... Oh, okay. It's shaped like the Puyo. What's this? Oh, I do be going that way. Oh, that's a one way. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's the thing from Link Between... Okay. A link to the past. Third key. I knew it. I knew I'd need it. Okay, that was a lot to process there. There's another chest here. I'm assuming I need to knock out all the enemies. Oh yeah, look at that. Crazy how that works. Kind of wish the uh, piece of power and the acorn didn't cut off the music a little bit. I'm not here. Joy! I'm not hearing much of the original soundtrack, I feel. Uh, sure enough, there's a bombable wall. Does it make a noise? No. So I don't know if the secret ones will make a noise either. Thought so. There's an acorn. Uh, I, well, I do have key. I guess we might as well check out this room before we go on. Epic. Uh, does this lead to secret hidden room? Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they make it to where, like, you fall in a pit and it goes to a new room. Of course, I don't know if they do that in this game, but hey, what'll you do? I'm just gonna pass that up just because I don't want to, like, hear the music. Uh. I. There's an owl there. I guess I'll go over to it. Say hello. Very basic as expected. I don't know. I. So here's the. <laughs> okay, well, I was gonna say, oh no, I was gonna say, here's the tea, I don't know how hard this game is in comparison to the other ones. The beakless statue is saying something, can't make it out. Good. Good, so I'm just gonna do nothing. Is there a door on the... No. Um, there's a locked door on the right side of the room below us, so I guess we'll go that way. Uh, I will say, uh, knowing... Hello, kitty! I will say that knowing the... Oracle games... She she literally, like, climbed up on my lap and went, meow. Knowing the Oracle games, they get pretty tough. Like, and I mean it. Like, I'd, I'd say, like, the hardest dungeon in Oracle of Seasons, which is the one I remember more because it was the first one I played, uh... It gets hard. It gets a lot harder than, say, the hardest in Link Between Link to the Past. And Link Between Worlds got pretty difficult as well, because uh, it, there's just a lot of like 3D work to do in that one. I remember specifically the ice dungeon taking me forever, just because the way I wasn't expecting that to actually lead to another room. I wanted to knock out the Stalfos first, or Stal Child maybe. I don't know if it's a full-on enemy. I feel like I'm gonna be get the ability to jump. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm almost dead. Didn't see that. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
I deed it. I mean, I just figured, you know, it's probably the solution there. Yo. That is Stone Beak. Now to find it out. Oh. Hello. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Okay. I feel like I could have figured that one out myself. That still hurts. Good to know. I didn't realize how low I was. I forgot immediately how low my HP was. I don't like this at all. Not a big fan. I think the next place to go would be up here. Yo. No! Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to see you all in the next one, where we'll delve a little bit deeper into this dungeon. I'll see you all then, and goodbye.